Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena and today I have a whole bunch of Frankie's bikinis to try on and show you guys my opinions. I have the old kind of versions, which are like the tie-dye ones. I have a whole bunch of different ones. They're all size large. Their bikini sizes are just really weird. Like I had to do so many refunds and like returns for it just because I'm usually a size small and they just run so small. And all of them was a size large and a size large was even pushing it. So anyone that's on the bigger side, I don't think it would really fit you. I think their largest sizes are XL, but I'll get into it. Okay, so this is my first one. I have the matching top and bottom. These are the reed bottoms. This is the Frankie's Bikinis Sophie Rich um, collab. It's super cute, honestly. This is a cheeky bottom. This is my most used one, and I did actually buy it used. It's just because last year when tie I was super in, I really wanted this specific bikini, and it was sold out. Didn't say they were coming back in stock. And so I found people that were selling separate sides online, Mercari, and I bought them. So I obviously disinfected them, but I'll show you guys what they look on. Okay, and this is how it looks on. You can make it more high rise. I tend to leave it like this. They do have the tie strings on the sides, which actually do absolutely nothing. They don't make it tighter or looser. I usually just tie them up. This is how it is from the side. It is the cheeky version, but yeah, overall, I think it is really cute. I like this basic kind of thing. These are really thin, so they don't give you like the super huge tan lines. And I really like how this is flattering and up top. They do sell a similar kind of version of this bottom on their website still. It's just not in this color and I probably will get it in black. I just think it's so flattering. The material is also super soft and it's just held up really well. I've put it in the wash, put it in the dryer and it hasn't. The color isn't like leaked onto anything else. So I do think it's worth it if you do really like this type of style and you do like the color that they have available. Okay, so the next one I have is the Briar Bottom and the Tasha Top in the Emerald Tie-Dye Color. I've actually used this one quite a bit. It's probably second to this blue one. I do really like it. I do really like the color. It's just that this is, um, this is basically the thong version, and I'm really not a fan of thongs. I don't know why I got it thinking I would really like it. I think when I had this buying it, they didn't really have an option for another one, and this was back again, like when tie-dye was super popular, and I really wanted some tie-dye sets. I didn't really have many bikinis. But overall, it's pretty flattering. Just this part really bothered me. Whenever I would sit down or something, it would like roll up, which, you know, wasn't really the most flattering. This is kind of a mid-rise, high-rise type bikini, so not usually what I wear. I usually do like low-rise just for bikinis because I think they're just, they give you less tan lines. I really, and I usually, I don't know, I just really don't like like huge tan lines. But this one has basically the similar you know, style at all of these do, the Tasha tops. So I got a whole bunch of these and, you know, they just don't give like different tan lines. These both were, I think this was 85 and this was 90. So they are pretty pricey and they are sold separately. I did get a size large in both of these. So I'm gonna try them on. And so this is how it looks on. It is super, I guess, flattering. It isn't as high rise as I thought, you know, from what I remember, but it is pretty, a lot more high rise than the other ones. I do like when they're kind of up to here. And this is the thong version, so I'm not a huge fan, but the Tasha top is basically the same. It's super like a silky, smooth, soft, you know, lining. I did get a size medium at first and had to return it just because it was so small. But, you know, it stays pretty well whenever I would go in the water or swim or whatever. It does fit pretty standard, pretty well. Just this part, again, bothers me, but I don't know if I would say this one is worth almost $200, I think at most maybe like a hundred dollars i know bikinis are getting super expensive now but i just don't think it's worth it and i know shein was actually selling a really similar one and i saw a whole bunch of girls wearing it it's a little bit different honestly you can tell the difference of in quality from afar or at least i could just because i was able to compare it but i don't think it's really worth it it's not super in style now i do wear it but it's just i wouldn't really buy it again Okay, and so a different version I have is, this is like the velvety version. This is the Oliver Bottoms. This was $85 in the Aqua Tie-Dye, and I have the Nicola Top in the Aqua Tie-Dye. This was $90, and this was $85, so still super expensive. It has that velvety feeling. I actually have worn these quite a bit. This is also the thong version, so it's been used, but not a crazy amount. But what I don't really appreciate is that like the letters are basically coming off and it wasn't like I was going to maybe, well, maybe I'll resell it, but it wasn't like there is any other branding on it. So if the words do come off, there's nothing really deciphering it from any other brand and the price tag is super big. So you do want it to be able, 
you know, to be like, this is Frankie's bikinis, just in case you do want to resell it. But yeah, I did get a size large in both of these. I have worn these quite a bit. The colors are really stunning, I have to say. And this is the first time I ever got like a velvet bikini. So it did, it was pretty nice. Honestly, I did have higher expectations for it, but I don't think it like really had any negative sides to it. I just don't like when it really gets wet. I think it just looks a little funny, but overall the sizing was pretty cute. This bottom is kind of similar to that green one, but it's just like this one when I did get a size medium at first because I usually am a size small. I did size up in all of them when I did order the first time. And when I did get a size medium, it was just so unflattering. This really like dug into my sides to the point that like kind of my side handles were like coming out everywhere. It was super unflattering. I really didn't like it. And this part, which is, yeah, this part is the front part was just like showing a little too much. I just didn't appreciate it. So I thought the large fit a lot better. I think an XL would have been too big, but like I said, if you're a bit bigger, these are definitely not gonna fit, but I'll try these on. Okay, and so this is how it looks. I do think the color is so flattering, especially since I am pretty dark, but I just don't think it's very flattering here. That's why I said the medium was just like, like super tight to the point where it was like, everything was like kind of falling out. It just looks super uncomfortable. This does have a pretty good support system, I would say, especially for the bottoms. I'm not too sure about the top. I'm not like the biggest, you know, it's like all right. It's nothing crazy. It does have a pretty good support, but like I said, I'm usually, I think a 32B in bras. I'm usually pretty like, I'm usually a pretty size small. And it's just like the fact that I'm a size large, anyone that is a size medium or large would have to definitely size up crazy, which I don't think is, you know, a good business plan for them. But overall, I do think it's pretty cute. It's a lot more low waisted than the other one is. And just the fact that this is a lot tighter of a band, it's just not as flattering. And compared to the green one with the high rise, this is just the big difference. Like it definitely goes up a lot more than this green one does. I mean, than the blue one does just for reference, but overall it is pretty cute. I do really like the color. Once again, I don't think I would repurchase it just because overall it costs about $200 with tax and everything. And I'm a, kind of a bigger fan of triangle bikinis, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, and for the last one, I have the Tasha top and the Ryan bottoms in the color Funfetti. It's a super cute, like super light pink and blue tie dye. I actually got this bottoms in a size medium, which, you know, is a miracle because they usually run super, super small. Honestly, this one I didn't think was going to have a lot of support when I did go swimming with it. And I was like, when I first took it out of the packaging, it's just like super loose and this is supposed to be super low rise it doesn't feel like there's any kind of support it's not going to be tight and i think that my biggest concern was that i went swimming or if i went to the beach or in the water or something it would kind of slip off a lot and i would have to keep pulling them up which you know lord knows we all hate that so i do think it's pretty flattering it's actually a cheeky bottom not the thong ones which is another miracle because you know everything they make is just super like thong up your butt which is cute i guess but i think like more I just don't feel as comfortable with the thong. I do prefer at most cheeky. I think just standardly, I just don't really like it. I feel like every time I wear a thong, I always like clench my butt up. I'm just like embarrassed. I don't want anyone to see, especially if I go out with like male friends or like I'm with like a group. It's just not the best, but it does give less bikini lines. So I understand it, but this is how the top looks. The top, I did get a size large because their tops usually run the same. It is a really faint amount of color to the point where it's like from afar, it kind of looks a little white, which... I don't know if I was the biggest fan of just because I know white gets super dirty and like the sand kind of stains it, but I think overall I've worn this quite a bit and it's held up pretty well with the color. I don't think there's any stains. I think the seams have held up pretty well as well. So I'm going to show you guys what they look oh, like. I forgot to mention that the top was 85 and the bottoms were 90, but as you can see, there's not, it's not super tight. It is pretty loose. It does go pretty low. This is the cheeky version and there's no adjustables. There's no nothing to like you know, really adjust it. And it does even now feel a little bit loose. It feels like it would fall off. But I promise you when I went swimming, when I went like doing everything, it just completely stayed on, which is like a shocker. But like I said, from afar, it does basically kind of look white. You have to get really up close to like be able to tell that it's like a light pink or light blue. But yeah, overall, see, it's not really too able to tell. But I do think it's super flattering. This was actually my favorite one out of all of them. I think I do use the, the first one a lot more. But I would use this one a lot, honestly, and I would get this in a different color, to be honest. Like, I think black would be such a standard, like, cute one. I usually do try to mix and match, and nothing really matches except black. If you get, like, a printed one like this with maybe white or black, would definitely look cute. So that's probably something I'll end up doing. But overall, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth $200, but 
it is super soft the quality has really held up and this one is double lined so you can't really see like you know any when it gets too cold or anything it's held up pretty well i haven't had like a little slip up so overall i do think it's really cute and i just don't know if it's really worth the money okay that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching overall i don't think i'll be purchasing any more frankie's bikinis they do have a lot of cute ones that i have seen like are getting super popular on instagram and stuff a lot of people are posting them especially like you know more famous like influencers and you know tiktokers stuff like that but i don't know i don't really think it's worth the rice tag honestly and people reselling them aren't reselling them for pretty cheap i think honestly comparing it to triangle now that i have triangle bikinis i think triangle is definitely worth the money more i still don't think it's worth about 200 dollars, but because triangle ones are cheaper i think they're 100 even though you have to pay 20 dollars taxes the fact that these are sold separately and they're hundred dollars each just not worth it in my opinion the quality is really nice and i haven't seen any of them pill or the seams start to come off but i don't really think it's worth it especially if it's something like tie-dye where you can learn from me it's gonna go out of style i can still wear these obviously and they'll still be cute but it's just not gonna be as popular and other websites like shen or you know holster all these different like clothing places will definitely make similar ones that you can purchase just for that season but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. My Instagram is a.t.o, just like here. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.